In this video, we will dive into the fascinating world of pointers. Each variable is stored in the SRAM of our Arduino at a specific address. Usually we don't see these addresses and we don't care about them, but with pointers, we can make use of them. So why is this important? Well, in embedded systems, memory is often limited and performance is critical. Pointers give us a powerful tool to optimize our code by allowing us to directly access and modify data in memory. But let's break down the basics. If I create a byte variable called x equals seven, then this variable called x is stored in the memory and has a specific address. So now the value of this variable called x is stored inside of the memory at the specific address. A pointer variable can store the memory address of a variable. For example, byte asterisk px, by putting the asterisk, ast asterisk um, by putting the asterisk in front of the variable, it is now not just a variable, it's a pointer variable. It no longer stores a value in the memory, it now stores the address of a byte variable in the memory. So right now it stores undefined gibberish because it's just declared and not initialized. You should always initialize a pointer variable because otherwise you will have a pointer variable pointing somewhere and you don't even know where. It's a bad thing. But now let's actually assign a real address. So I will create a byte variable called x equals seven. And now px should store the address of x. We can't do it like this because we don't want to store the value of x. We want to store the address of the variable x. And we can access the address by using the reference operator. It returns the memory address of a variable. So now we have the value seven stored inside of the variable x, which sits inside of our memory. And then we have the pointer variable px that stores the address of the variable x. And so let's print it and look at these addresses. Let's start with 9600 bot and then I will print address of x is zero x. I will print it as hexadecimal number. For addresses, we always use hexadecimal numbers because they are shorter and addresses are very long usually. And then we want to print the address px as a hexadecimal number. However, we can't do it like this because it needs to be casted. If we try to run the code like this, it doesn't work. We need to cast this into an um, unsigned integer number and we can use unsigned integer 16 underscore t. So this is a 16 bit unsigned integer number because we have a 16 bit address bus inside of Arduino Uno. And so now, Oh, it doesn't work like this, so let's remove this. So now we see the address of x equals 8fb. And if we take a look at the address range, this is actually at the very end of the SRAM range because it starts with 0100 and it goes up to 08ff and this is stored at 08fb, almost at the end of the address range. So here comes your exercise. I would like you to also print the address of the pointer variable. So let's print address of px. So now we need the address of the pointer variable and here we again need the reference operator. So we reference px and we cast it into an 
unsigned integer with 16 bits and we print it as hexadecimal number. Let's try. So now we see the address of x is 0x8fb and the address of px is 0x8f9. So you can see that they're not the same. One is the variable and the other one is the pointer variable. The last thing that I would like to cover in this video is how can you access the value of the variable where your pointer points to without accessing the variable directly. So how can we print the value of x by using px and not x? This can be achieved by using the dereference operator, the asterisk like this. So value of x is seven. So now our Arduino actually looks at the address and takes whatever is exactly at the address. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel if you're ready to dive deep into the world of Arduino. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a message down below. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.